Good morning, Heartbeat on Gwen. Good morning, Heartbeat Andrea and Heartbeat Troy. And good morning, Heartbeat Sherry, Heartbeat Juanita, Heartbeat Latonya, Heartbeat Alia. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you guys. Hope you had a great night. Hope you got rest on last night and just hope you are having an amazing day. Good morning, Heartbeat Belinda. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts this morning. Hey there, Heartbeat Yolanda. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Come on, let's give God a praise wherever you are. Let's welcome him into your presence. Hallelujah, glory to God, for he is so worthy to be praised. He allowed us all to see another day. So good morning, good morning. Hey there, Heartbeat Puddin' Pop, Heartbeat Sean. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts by God Wants Me Whole. And so, you know, on yesterday, we were talking about stop wasting time. And so we want to continue to do that. We want to stop wasting time and we want to move into the things of God. Amen. And so your daily dosage for this morning is this, that prayer is essential. Prayer is essential. And I know, you know, we all know that prayer is essential, but sometimes we don't use the weapons that we have. And so we've got to use, learn to use what we have, use the tools that God has given us that we may walk into all of the things that he has promised us that we may get that restoration, that we may get that restitution of all. See, prayer changes things. Prayer stirs up the atmosphere. And so prayer is a way to communicate with God. And this is something that we should do always. You know, the Bible says always praying in the spirit. We should be praying in our heavenly language as well. We should always do it. There is never not a time that you cannot pray. And so instead of talking to others about your situations, you need to be talking to God about your situation. He has given us the tool of prayer and at any time you can go up in your heavenly language. At any time you can pray. At any time you can just call on the name of Jesus. And so we've got to learn to use our mouths in the ways that God has designed for us to use it. We've got to learn to use our mouth to speak the things that we want to see. Not say what we see, but speak what we want to see. Amen. And so let's talk about this prayer. And in prayer, there should be things that you're always saying in your prayer. So you should always have adoration in your prayer. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Just like when, uh, as we as individuals, you like for people to greet you. You like for people to say good things about you. Well, so does Jesus. And so when you are praying, you ought to always give him adoration for he is King of Kings and he is Lord of Lords and he is the Messiah and he, he is the sovereign one and he is the author and finisher of my faith. He is the lifter of my head. He is the lily of the valley. He is, you know, whatever we need him to be, whenever we need him to be it. He is our God. He is our King. He is our Savior. He is the Redeemer. He is the Deliverer. And so when you are praying, you ought to be giving adoration to your King. You ought to be giving adoration to our Savior. You ought to be saying you are the Wonderful Counselor. You ought to be saying you are the Healer. You are you, you need to be giving God adoration. See, when you begin to enter in and give him adoration, it changes the atmosphere where you are. It makes it conducive for God to move because now he's in heaven saying, wait a minute, somebody is down there talking about me. Wait a minute, somebody is down there giving me praise. Wait a minute, somebody is down there giving me honor. See, we need to give God adoration in our prayers, not just always going going to God, asking him for things, but letting him know how much you love him, letting him know how much you adore him, letting him know that you are, that he is everything to you. See, you ought to be getting, your heart ought to be filled with so much gratefulness and so much thankfulness that all that's coming out of your mouth is, Lord, I just want to give you glory. God, I just want to honor you. Lord, I just want, my heart is pouring out with adoration for you. I just come to worship you. I'm not coming to ask you for anything, but I'm coming to tell you just how great you are. So you want to get the attention of heaven. And when you have a lifestyle 
of prayer, this is what happens. You know, when you start to begin to say, great is the Lord and, 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 and just, just, just giving him all types of adoration that he's greatly to be praised, you know, and I will speak glorious honor, you know, of thy majesty and of your wondrous works. When you begin to give him adoration, glory to God, something happens. Heaven begins to move on your behalf. And so we got adoration. The next thing that your prayer should consist of is a confession. You know, 1 John 1 and 9 says when we confess, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins. And so you need to begin to confess the word of God like he heals the brokenhearted and he binds up their wounds. You need to start to confess like God wants me whole and I'm getting whole by the minute. So you need to begin to confess the word of God, because that is the language that God understands. That is the language that heaven understands. That is the language that the angels understand. See, some of our angels are, are dormant because we're speaking the wrong things and they don't understand what you're saying. But when you begin to confess the word of God, see your legion of angels are like, okay, I understand what they're saying. I understand that language. And now they're able to release. So you've got to begin to confess things that you want to see, not what going on. So you say things like, I'm not moved by what I see. I'm not moved by what I hear. I'm not moved by what I feel. I'm only moved by what I believe. And I believe the word of God. You begin to confess. You begin to decree a thing. And you know, it, the Bible says that when you decree a thing, that it shall be established on the earth. Do you know that a decree is like a proclamation? It cannot be changed. It is a law. It is a spiritual law that when you speak a thing, that it has got to happen. So you need to start decreeing right now in the name of Jesus that I am healed from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. You need to start to decreeing a thing that blessed is the fruit of my body. You need to start decreeing a thing that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. You need to start decreeing a thing. I don't care what it looks like. I don't even care what the medical report says. I believe the word of God and the word of God said that he is Jehovah Rapha that he is my healer. He is my creator. See, you need to start decreeing a thing. You need to start commanding your body to line up to what the word of God says. Amen. And so what we have, see, our prayer should consist of adoration. Our prayer should consist of a confession. Our prayer should consist of thanksgiving. You know, 1 Thessalonians 5, 18 says, in all things, give thanks. And so we ought to be always thanking God, just thanking God simply that he's God. That's enough right there. Thank you, Lord, that I woke up this morning. Thank you, Lord, that I'm in my right mind. Thank you, Lord, that I don't look like what I've been through. Thank you, Lord, that I still have a home. Thank you, Lord, that I'm not lining up at a shelter this evening. Thank you, Lord, that my family is intact. Thank you, Lord, that I'm in my right mind. Thank you, Lord, that what others have been through, I've been through the same thing, but it didn't take me out. Thank you, Lord, that I have food to eat every day. Thank you, Lord, that I have a choice to eat. I can eat what I want to, not what I have to. See, we need to start thanking God, thanking him, not always asking, but thanking him. Thanking him for being your savior. Thanking him for being your redeemer. Thanking him. God, Lord God, I just want to thank you. Lord God, I just want to thank you. That ought to be what we're saying. I just want to thank you forever and ever. I just want to thank you. See, we ought to have thanksgiving in our hearts every time we come to God. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for not leaving me where you found me. Thank you, Lord God, that I don't answer to the things that I used to answer to. Thank you, Lord God, that I don't go to the places that I used to go. Thank you, Lord God, that I don't put the things in my body that I used to. Thank you, Lord God, for your son, Jesus. Thank you, God, for the word that keeps me stable. Thank you, God, that you are all sufficient. Thank you, God. Thank you. And so not only that, and we know that when we pray, that the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous, that they avail of much. Thank you, God, that I'm righteous. And then the other thing is supplication. Ask for what you want. See, after you've given him adoration, after you've done your confession, after you've done your thanksgiving, now it's supplication. Ask for what you want. And 1 John 5, 14 and 15 says this confidence we have in him, that if we ask according to his will, he hears us. And if we know he hears, and if he hears whatsoever we ask, we know that our 
petitions are granted. That means that we have faith in the word of God. We have faith in when we ask things according to his will, that he hears us and that he's going to answer us. And so those are the things that your prayer should consist of. And here are the things that happen when we pray. You get access. There are five things that happen from prayer. You receive the favor and the supernatural from God. That is the access that you get when you tap into prayer. When you use this weapon of prayer to go into your heavenly language, to just begin to pray and ask God, you receive the favor and the supernatural from God. The other thing that you receive is wisdom, the knowledge that you didn't have. He begins to give you strategic plans. He begins to give you um, strategic visions on how to handle those situations that you've been praying about. You receive courage from prayer because you're no longer afraid because you've got this power now. You've been, you know, like injected with power. You've been infused. Then you get results. You begin to see what you pray for and what God show you. See, manifestation begins to happen at the speed of your faith. Did you hear what I just said? When you begin to pray, manifestation begins to happen at the speed of your of your faith. And what does Hebrews tell us? That faith is now. And so when you begin to pray, you begin to receive manifestation of what you prayed. When you begin to pray, you begin to stir up the gifts in you. When you begin to pray, you begin to stir up the gifts in those people that's supposed to release your stuff. When God has told you that he has people that are going to help you to accomplish your vision that he has for you. When you begin to pray, something happens on the inside of those people that causes them to move and do what God needs them to do to answer your prayer. The other thing that you get from prayer, the fifth thing is promotion. You go to another level. You go from glory to glory. Amen. And so that is why prayer is essential. Prayer has got to be your lifestyle. It cannot be something that you do every now and again. It has to be your lifestyle. Prayer is what you do as a believer. Well, RB Nation, that is your daily dosage for today. That prayer is essential. Come on and say it with me. Say, God wants me whole and I'm getting whole by the minute. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not already. You can find all of your daily dosages right there in one place. Also, follow us on all social media platforms and feel free to visit us at GodWantsMeWhole.org. I love you guys a bunch. I want you to make sure you have a fantastic day, a spec while amazing day. Look out for God's favor today. Look out for him to answer your prayers on today. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning at 7.30. Hey, Harvey Kalina. Hey, Harvey Erica. I see you. I see you. I see you. Harvey Robin, I saw you pop up there too. You guys have a spec while amazing day. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning at 7.30. Hey, heartbeat Anita. Love you guys a bunch.